Hey what's up guys, this is Clutch from Sandwich Gaming and today I've got a brand new emblem for you and basically this one's going to be the Assassin's Creed 3 logo uh, you also can see the Twitch TV logo and that'll be in later on um, tutorial and basically this one's going to be the next one but first we're going to do Assassin's Creed 1 and basically this is, this is the Assassin's Creed 3 emblem which was um, uh, requested and so now we're going to start off by layer 1 so the tools are going to be round square you don't really have to do anything with that at the moment. I'm going to go to layer 2 and I'm basically going to get a lovely rectangle medium. Uh, basically the colour scheme for this one is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from the main white. And down 1. That's the colour we're going to look, be looking for. And basically we're going to make that really, really thin. Then we're going to try and basically have half the top part in the middle and try and scale it out from there. Maybe make it a bit thinner. And make it generally at the top. Now we're gonna copy and paste it to that to layer two and basically do the same thing here. Try and duplicate as much as you can. This is one tutorial so you can tweak it as how like, however you want. Uh, I'll try and make it as perfect if I can. Uh, really amazingly perfect. Okay, that's, uh, that looks good enough. So now we're going to go to level 4 and we're going to get a triangle to um, cover up that top bit. And the triangle is going to be the same colour scheme. Basically, the whole thing is going to be the same colour scheme except for the um, numbers that are going to go inside it. Okay, that's the top part done. Now we're going to go to layer 5. I need that picture. Ah. Uh, for layer 5, we're going to basically get a... Um, Shariken, I believe it's called. And we're gonna make it to the same colour. And basically we're gonna make it tiny, 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 tiny. Basically gonna make it like that. And maybe a bit more of the curve. And we're gonna copy and paste it. So basically it goes to the other one. Probably won't be perfect, but for you hopefully it is perfect. Um, okay, that looks okay for now. Uh, now we're going to basically go to layer 7 where we're going to get these little things called bike ramps. And um, we're going to change it to the color scheme. And just have it in each other. Gonna basically flip that one over. Basically, have it inside each other, and it looks okay for now. Now we're going to copy and paste it over and do the same to this side. Um, it's best you like do it the same way as it was done before. Copy and paste that over and flip it. Okay, it looks okay so far. It looks like genuine. Uh, now we're going to go for this curve. And we're going to finish off these little bits. So, curve scheme, as usual. And uh, basically, going to just curve it like that. A lovely curve we're looking for. Now we're going to copy and paste it and do the same to this one. If you really need to, you can cover up them gaps with different types of shapes. If it doesn't really fit and work out for you, um, that looks okay. But if you want to, you can just do that and grab this and do that. Then grab two tiny, really tiny circles and change this color scheme and just cover that little tiny bit up. Now we're going to do it this one as well. Maybe make the curve a bit more better. And do the same for this one. And that looks generally okay for now. Uh, now we're going to do a golf flag. Change the color scheme as usual. Now we're going to basically try and get this so it's thin, nice and thin. Not too thin though. Too thin, it's going to be a bit bad. And try and make sure it doesn't hit too far to the middle. And that looks okay at the moment. Let's do a flip and 
Do the same here. That looks okay for now. Um, if you really want to, you can grab these curves and place them here so it goes with this thing a little bit. Maybe make this a bit more smaller so it goes with it. Uh, make that a little bit more with the thing and do the same for this side. I say everything you do to one side, you do to the other side, so it's basically a complete duplicate. And that looks alright. So now we're going to go to get this, I think it's called a smiley outline. So now we're going to make that the same car scheme. Once we make it the same car scheme, basically we're just going to um, free scale it until it's the correct size. And we need to make it relatively close to the actual thing. Once we've done that, uh, we can go to layer 20. And basically, we're going to have these like scoops, sort of things. Change it to the sky scheme. And basically, it's going to go in the middle. Um, if you want to, you can basically free scale it so it's like just goes with the thing. Place it there, flip. That looks okay. Now we're going to finish this off by doing some lovely rectangle mediums. This is going to be red. Uh, so we're going to go from the big one to one to red, then down once. That will do for you, unless you want to make it a bit different color. Now we're going to put this one directly in the middle. Now we're going to copy and paste it, put this one slightly over, copy and paste again, push this one slightly over as well. So basically it's just like that. Now we're going to go to um, these half stars, make it the same color scheme. Hopefully you can see it coming a bit together. And basically that, make that tiny and copy and paste it and basically do this to every single Roman numer numeral and um, basically flip it over try and make it as perfect as you can oh crap was meant to do that uh, that's it. That's how you make the Assassin's Creed logo. Um, right, guys, I've uh, noticed a little um, problem here. Basically, it was like these like little crosshairs sticking out. So we changed that to black. Little crosshairs sticking out. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a little tip to get rid of them. Basically, you just grab this half star and try and flatten it out as much as you can towards the actual um, shape and get rid of it like that simple as that then you do it to that part as well uh, if I can and uh, that's it that's how you do it. that's the little tip you can do to get rid of those little pointy bits if you have any shapes um, like a star or something uh, basically there's three stars below the number three one big star in the middle and two smaller stars on both sides that's basically more of the Assassin's Creed logo. But for now, that is generally how you make the logo itself. Um, I think this one's better than the first logo I made. I'm definitely going to use the, this one. Um, I think this one is a general, yeah, about a nine minute thing to do. And it doesn't require um, too much effort, but it does require that bit of um, will power to get this correct. Um, uh, thank you for watching guys and basically comment if you have any issues like you don't know what shape you're only using on certain parts um, then comment any requests you wish to have and anything else such as um, basically I've had a few requests like beer I don't know <laughs> uh, 
Um, so anything else like um, what vi other video, what other things I should make, and rate this uh, video if you found it very helpful, or just if you just like the video in general, just like it. I don't, <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. But as long as I, as long as you like this, guys, and subscribe for more content. Uh, we basically do Black Ops Two videos, um, some Minecraft videos, and such other, and we do a lot more Emblem videos than this. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and I'll see you all later.